Hello there, and welcome to the Dream Team Update video for February. For February. Feb for February. As you may have noticed, I am actually not dead. I am simply on a hiatus. But now I'm back, and we have results from the playtest. We've got a couple of respondents, and most of them seem to enjoy it. So, I've taken it upon myself to sift through the data, and see what people want to change and what they want me to work on next. It seems like there's a pretty good response for customizable weapons and customizable characters, so those are going to be the focuses of the next cycle of development. But before we get into that, I would like to say a big thank you to Lost Isolith, my brother. He bought me a wonderful new microphone for my birthday, as you can hear. You can go ahead and follow him on SoundCloud, he makes very, uh, funky music. Lots of high-tech stuff and lots of experimental, um... I don't even know if this is a genre. So, to get back on track. I started off the month working on the character creator, as that's what I personally wanted to start with. I'll get to the weapon stuff after this is finished, but this is my personal preference, as I have created a character creator in the past to, uh, to I don't want, I wouldn't say this is good effect, but it's certainly an effect. So to start off with that, I first drew up a plan, because I figured that this is going to be a pretty complex system, and I should really figure out how it's going to fit all together. So into Photoshop I went and I drew a rough outline of what I wanted to accomplish with this. I made it as expandable as possible so that I can add more stuff in the future, but for now it's going to be fairly bare bones. It's just the framework, really. And then to begin with that, I wanted to focus in on this little section down here, the texture painter, as I figured this could be a very good standalone section that I could actually create separately and then sell on the Unreal Engine marketplace. I figured that since I couldn't find anything else like this around, there must be some sort of demand for it as I wanted it, so maybe someone else does as well. So off I went with my coding hat on and I got down to work. It didn't take me too long to create a fairly usable prototype. I got down the basic texture painting, the brush settings that I tried to kind of steal a little bit from Photoshop, they have some pretty good tools there, and the main core ability to create, import, export, and uh, edit textures, namely to the disk, which is to save it as a file, which you can then call on later. This is one of the key features that separates it from other texture painters. Some other things that I got in place was the symmetry settings. These are probably the most fun to play around with. Uh, I've got some fancy dual brush stuff going on, where you can overlay two textures on top of each other. And I got things like mouse smoothing going and uh, motion following, and there's a whole feature list if you really want to read up about it. It should be up pretty soon on the marketplace for download, if you want to try it out. Other than that, this month I also got started on the base character Mesh. I want to take a lot of care to make this as perfect as possible for my needs. My needs being I want a easily customizable character, so I need to create loops uh, for the geometry around certain areas that I know are going to be deformed quite significantly. I also want to make sure there are clean divides between the different body parts in case I want to substitute things out for, say, prosthetics for example. I want to make this quite expansive, so this is all detailed in the prototype write-up that I did uh, at the beginning of the video. So once I was finally finished with the topology, I decided to commit the changes and start rigging. This was kind of the point of no return, so I had to make sure everything was as perfect as possible. I rigged up the mesh to the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton, as that's what I've been using for the animations, and did some very janky weight painting. I will definitely clean this up very soon. From there I decided to have a go at some morph targets. These are the kind of deformations that you would see on the body that would generally be what you would customize. This is an example of what it could be. Now you could layer many of these on top of each other and eventually create the character that you want. I'm trying to make this as streamlined as possible so I'm experimenting around with some naming conventions for the morph targets so that they automatically categorize themselves when I import into Unreal Engine. But we'll see how that goes, I haven't even started that yet, just kind of a thought. So, with our main character in game and the texture painter on its way to completion, I think that is going to wrap it up for this month. I thank you so much for watching, and I will hope to see you again next time. Toodaloo!